In this tutorial, we'll discuss reconstruction. We'll cover reconstruction settings, input selection, test reconstruction regions, the master reconstruction, as well as simplifying and model cleanup. Now that we have our master component, the next step will be creating a solid surface model or 3D mesh from the point cloud and aerial imagery. First, let's go ahead and create a smaller reconstruction region to do a test reconstruction. For that, let's create a reconstruction region by going to Reconstruction Region, Set Reconstruction Region, Set Region on the grid. Let's set the region around this turret, as this was the most misaligned part from the previous steps. Next, let's go to the Reconstruction Settings and change the Force Single Part Mode to Yes under Normal Mode. This setting will give us a quicker result and that's where we're using it for this test reconstruction. Now let's change our input settings. Click on the scan component to select all the LSP input. For that, select the camera lasso from the alignment ribbon, select all the cameras, and we'll change their input settings. We'll set enable meshing to enable, and enable texturing and coloring to disable. Next, select the master component and click invert. This will allow all the photogrammetry inputs to be selected. Use the following settings. Change Enable Meshing to Disable and Enable Texturing and Coloring to Enable. Now from the Aerial Master Component, select all the inputs with the camera lasso and change Enable Meshing to Enable. This will allow us to reconstruct with the point cloud and aerial imagery only. If for some instance you need higher resolution or detail, we can use selected terrestrial inputs. Using this method allows for much quicker reconstruction than using all the terrestrial photogrammetric images. From the scene ribbon, select the arrow next to the clipping box and select Create from Reconstruction Region. Doing this allows us to have a clear view of the piece we would like to reconstruct. Let's make sure we have the part we want prior to reconstruction. Next, we are going to disable all the inputs we won't need for this reconstruction. For that, let's go to the alignment ribbon, point lasso, and select all the points. Then to find images, let's invert and disable these inputs in the component. This again will aid in making the reconstruction process a lot faster. Now from the reconstruction ribbon, select normal detail. Depending on the speed of your computer, this process can take just a couple minutes, upwards of 20 minutes. Now that we have the model, let's inspect it. We are going to use the clipping box tool to inspect the model. For that, let's go to the clipping box in the scene ribbon and select create from reconstruction region and then select edit clipping box. The model looks great. Let's move on to the master reconstruction of the entire model. First, let's change Enable and Component attribute for the selected inputs to enable them. Now we're going to clear the clipping box, then check the tie points box from the scene ribbon, and change the reconstruction box to the boundaries of the building. We can change the clipping box by clicking the scene ribbon, clipping box, create from reconstruction region. Now we'd like to change the reconstruction settings for the master reconstruction. Click reconstruction ribbon followed by settings and change force single part mode to no under reconstruction settings. This will allow us to create a much denser model. Remember in this step to turn on all your LSP inputs, all your aerial imagery and disable the terrestrial photogrammetric images. After you have your reconstruction region set, click normal detail. Depending on the size of this model, it can take anywhere from one to several hours. You'll notice once the reconstruction is complete that you only can see the vertices of the model. This is because there's a viewing cap limit set by the software, in our case, 40 million polygons. To view the solid surface model, you can use the clipping box tool and view a smaller area, or we can work on simplifying the model to 40 million polygons or less. To simplify the model, we want to do it in stages. The rule of thumb is to simplify the model 50% each time. If our original model is 1 billion polygons, we'll go from 1 billion 
to 500 million, to 250 million, to 125 million, and so on, until we get to the targeted polygon count. To simplify the model, click the Simplify tool from the Reconstruction ribbon. Change the target triangle count to that 50% number discussed earlier. Make sure preserved parts are set to yes and click Simplify. Before we start the texture process and finalizing the master component, let's clean the model by removing unwanted polygons. Select Advanced from the Reconstruction ribbon. Click Select to select marginal triangles. This will select a lot of the triangles created when creating a watertight mesh. Then click Filter Selection to remove the selected triangles. Now from Advanced Selection tool, click Select from the Select Largest Connected Component. Click Invert. And finally click Filter Selection to remove. This will get rid of floating pieces in the model. The last thing we want to do is clean the model, is to select and remove the large triangles. In our reconstruction, large triangles happen when there is not enough resolution in the tie points. So let's change the edge threshold multiplier to 50 and click select next to select large triangles. The multiply number will vary based on the density of the model. Let's click filter selection to remove the large triangles. In addition, you can use the lasso tool to clean individual selections in the model. Our reconstruction is now complete. The model is cleaned and ready for texturing. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about unwrap settings, target poly counts, and texture resolutions using the texture reprojection tool and exporting the model.